What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Erica. I am back from L.A. I had a fabulous time, fabulous time. Um, I will get into my trip in another video, but I wanted to come to you all today to give you all my ultimate pet peeve, my ultimate pet peeve. Now, this is going to offend some of you. I know it is. I know it is because I know some of you are like this. And I know it's going to offend you. But please know that I am not trying to offend. I am not trying to offend. Please know that I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But anyway, I took my son to McDonald's today. We're sitting in the play court. I'm sitting there eating my food, watching him. And there's this white guy sitting next to me. Fine ass white guy. Probably one of the finest white dudes I've seen in a long, 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 long time. So, you know, I'm looking at him, he looking at me or whatnot, and, and, and you know, I'm getting all hot and bothered because this white dude is so freaking fine, right? So, I get up the courage to say something, to strike up a conversation because he's there with his kids and I'm there with my son. So, I get the courage to, to kind of say something to kind of spark up some type of conversation. When he opens his mouth, my heart went to cold in a matter of seconds. I went from being hot and bothered to Antarctica. It, it was awful. And I'm going to tell you why. Because he had the dreaded nigga talk. The biggest pet peeve, my biggest pet peeve, is hearing white people with the dreaded nigga talk. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Trying to sound all black and ghetto and shit like that. Ooh, ooh, that's ugly. That is so ugly. You know, I don't even like talking ghetto. I try my best not to sound ghetto. Because I hate the way it sounds coming from me. So, so, when, when... And this goes for, for white guys and white girls. Because y'all know, you know, I swing it both ways. Nigga talk is not attractive not attractive especially if you look like you're over 35 if you look like you're over 35 and you're still pulling out the nigga talk just put it away it's time to put the ghetto lingo away let the children talk like that that's children talk when we talking amongst adults we want to put on our adult dialect we don't want to, hey, yeah, what's up, boo, what's no, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, white people, listen to me. I love y'all and we should all get along. I believe that, I believe that. Oh, we are all one. You know, we are all the same. You know, some are just more melanated than others, but we're the same. But white people, please. Stop the nigga dialect. Stop the nigga talk. Please stop. Even if you are in the hood, just try it one day. No, no, no nigga dialect. No, no, no. Please don't. That is so unattractive. That is so unattractive. Not too long ago, the prettiest little blonde girl, prettiest little blonde girl, you know, make me do a double take till she opened her mouth. She had that dreaded nigga talk. If y'all, white people, if y'all want to learn something from us, if y'all want to learn something from black folks, don't learn ghetto lingo. Don't learn that. Learn something else from us. Learn something else from us. Learn how to do something else from black folks. Don't learn. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. We, we, us as black folks, we trying to work on it. It's so hard, too. It's so hard. I know I'm country. I know I'm country. But... Please, no more ghetto lingo. No more. Okay? Peace.